Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Just off the cuff. I wake up and I hear this gentleman on here talking, and I hear somebody go, Hey, Yancey. Hell, I wasn't on that thing. How'd my name get involved? I only got 30 minutes. That's the way the Yankee man show us. You only get 30 minutes of goodness. Hey! <laughs> can y'all hear that? I know you can hear this. Ah, I mean, that's crazy. Who controls the narrative? What is clandestine misery? Who's clandestine? Who's the. Ah! Listen. You want to know? Ask me. I'm playing master of the universe. I know all of that stuff. Matter of fact, they say you snuck into a lodge. How you don't sneak into a lodge? You can't sneak into my lodge. I'll, I'll get out of here. Get past the title. And then get past me. I'm the worst. If I say, come on in, you come on in. Yeah. But that's the way it is when you're uh, playing master of the universe. Hey, you know what? Watch this. That was a gentleman named James Shields. Now you're talking about a Tao's Lodge? You get past James Shields, then the worshipful master would find out that you're at the door. But if you didn't get past James Shields, he was like, he was worse than Barney Watkins. Barney Watkins passed Grand Master of Sons of Light. And he always asked him, is you a master mason or what? Well, yeah, James Shields would take you way on down the line. By the time he finished with you, he knew you belonged inside of that lodge. I mean, he really knew. And then I realized what he did, and this man had done some phenomenal things. Oh, he did some phenomenal things for African Americans. Yeah, why are they calling them them names? She will fix it after a while. You know, it's amazing. Uh, Hold on, hold on. Listen, up. they're talking trash. Yeah, who does control the narrative? Me. And the only way you control the narrative is if you just record everything and no one can interrupt. Like me. Hey, good morning, brother Barney Watkins. I like that. Hey. See, that's the thing. You have to remember one thing. Let me shut this down. Put him on, put him on hold. Cause see, the question is this. I only get thirty minutes. I'm gonna get some of y'all not gonna understand because you're not into that Masonic thing. <clears throat> but here's the deal. Who controls the narrative? I do. Who's a Mason? You. Not him. He ain't no Mason. But Brother Bar Barney Watkins. Past Grand Master. Sons of Right Grand Lord. I was talking to. But anyway, one of the questions he would ask is, uh, Are you a Master Mason or what? <laughs> that's old school stuff. But that's the question that you need to ask yourself. Are you a Master Mason? Because nobody can tell you what you are. Nobody. Now, if you want to be something different, you want to be a different kind of mason, that's fine. Be that. For instance, uh, you can be a, a very smart mason. You can be a very not so smart mason. You can be a IBF mason or Prince Hall mason or clandestine mason, Christian mason. 
was Christian. <laughs> That's me. See, in the grand lodge of the universe, everybody's Christian Masons. You see? So, we already know we're not regular. We're the grand lodge of the universe. So, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We just pop up from anywhere. All kind of lodges just keep popping up. They're not prints, all they're not grand lodges. Thing. Regular lodges that just pop up. No lineage, you know, where got a book, practiced masonry, got good at it, got invited to join other regular lodges and said, nah, I don't think I'll stay where I'm at. I don't want to do that. Okay, you have a right to do that. You don't have to join. For instance, Barakan. I watch you guys. Now, whose lodge is he in? It don't matter. But the point is this. Whatever lodge he's in, I bet you he's going to get a bunch of guys from the nation to join that lodge. And I'm assuming that later on in life, they're going to have a Quran up on, that whole, on their altar. And most of the boys in there are going to be the Muslim. So, I would call that a Muslim lodge. Can I visit? You doggone bitch. I not listen, I can visit anywhere. I can go knock on a Grand Lodge Estate. I can knock on Prince Hall. No. Getting in is a different story. But don't tell me where I can't knock. I can knock anywhere. And that's why I like Squiggly. I get to see listen, I get to see so much. You go to we got hundreds of different types of lodges. All of them do something a little bit different. You wanna see it? You can't be regular. You get kicked out if you come to a, what you guys call clandestine lodge. You know, but you got to remember something else. You are what you are. And if you got to practice masonry, understand this. Masonry unite men. We're already united. All this unity thing, you don't have to unite us. We're already united. Masonry united us. Us. Not you, Mason. You ain't no Mason yet. Well, yeah, you got a title, but that don't mean you're a Mason. Because Mason reunites men of every country, sect, and opinion. And then it conciliates true friendship among those who have otherwise remained at a perpetual distance. You see, listen. Me and my Prince Hall partner. Right? We're partners. He has a right to turn around and look at his Prince Hall organization just like I can turn around and look at mine and say, you know what? Y'all take them organizations and stick them. And we'll walk away partners. We start, we walk away partners. The organization don't make you. You make the organization. Okay, getting a little too deep. Getting a little too deep. Okay, I'm going to leave that part alone. But Brother Hawkins, you're absolutely correct. You cannot sneak into a lodge. Now, you know you don't belong in one. But who's going to tell on you? You never go unless you're invited anyway. Who's going to go to a lodge and just knock on the door? Well, you can't, but it's not, not a very wise thing to do. And then, what's with this tile lodge? You can't sit in a tile lodge. I don't want to sit in a tile lodge with you. If the lodge is tile, that means you're talking about some stuff I don't need to know about. I don't want you in the lodge with me when we read in our minutes if you're a visitor. You know, come on. The lodge is tiled. I can untile the lodge. Let him in. It's untiled. Hey, hey, this may be my last time, children. This may be my last time. It may be my last time. I don't know who this may be my last time. Hey, they said we keep tearing each other down. You can't tear nobody down. They're already down. Is it this may, if they want to be tore down, let them be tore down. Now, it may be the last time. I don't know. Ooh. That's right. It may be the last time. Hey, is Billy Woodard out there? Hey, Billy Jean Woodard. This is some uh, late breaking news regarding that Billie Jean Woodard. Yes, she's she's gonna end up with 18 season tickets to the Lakers games. She's one of them. 
Not just fans. She's just all over the internet. They, they won the championship. And, and listen, she got more likes than the Lakers. Every picture. They're right from her house. Lakers. Hey, win, win, Lakers. And then she's got the two superstar guys. Uh, this uh, little short, uh, what is his name? LeBron Scooter. Uh, uh, yeah, him. And the other guy that's trying to take, trying to steal his thunder. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Doc, DJ, whatever. Yep. Uh, huh? Yep. 19 tickets, because I want one of them too. All right, there you go. That's late breaking news. Just wanted to make that clear that Billie Jean Woodard is the Lakers' most avid fan. All right. Back to uh, the Yankee Man Show. Who my partner, Woody? Yeah. Let y'all see me go get married. <laughs> He's the last time I don't know who, who, who may be. All my Victory uh, Baptist Church family, got you covered. Hey, got to give out food tomorrow, too. Children, this may be the last. Let's play some more Tony Hawk and see what they're talking about. Hey, you know, they, they call my name. Your grandma said that's who they are. That's who they are to them. That's who they are to themselves. That's none of my business. What, what is happening is that in black nation, among black people, we have attacked each other. We, we have? We come at each other from various angles. I'm, I'm including myself. See, the process is that when people talk about other people, they never want to include themselves. So I'm including me in this also. So they talk about me all the time. <laughs> hey, shout out to William T. Hill. You too, John Nagy. <laughs> Western Jarvis! It's not their narrative, it's their way of opening, squiggling. <laughs>
and I'm being right. as truthful as I can, but let's not get off the subject once again. Right. In regards to who controlling the narrative. Yes, you do. That's me. I didn't come out. Well, I mean, I hear my name. Maybe one yes. Hey. Sneak in. Why you keep jumping on that? You can't sneak in anyway. We're still got to get you That's uh, that's very interesting. How do you sneak into a lodge? I just sneak right in there. Nobody will know I'm in here. Really? Isn't your lodge like your home? No, just anybody can just walk in. You gotta come on, man. One of the family members gonna say, "Hey, who's that? Oh, that's your cousin. Really? <laughs> on whose side of the family? <laughs> you go where you're invited. If you got in, it was because the person that invited you got the approval from the worship master, and the worship master invited you on in." That sounds pretty easy to me. Okay, how about this? Remember the Farrakhan? You got, they got Farrakhan, Louis Farrakhan. They got Louis Farrakhan. Okay, now, whose lodge is he in? Okay, did he take his obligation on the Holy Bible? Is he in one of my Christian lodges, like the Christian lodges of the universe, or is he one of the Lodges that says, oh, well, we have a volume of sacred law. And he took his obligation on the volume of sacred law. Really? I tell you what. Let's say he's in my lodge. Yeah, yeah, he's in my lodge. I'm the worshiper. All of my other guys with the last name of Muhammad or anything similar are going to be in my lodge. And we're going to have a Quran. Now. One of you Christian boys can come on over if you want and visit. Just remember, I have a Quran. That's what I have. I'm just me thinking. So, you want to join my lodge and you come in. Well, I want to take my obligation on the Holy Bible. Well, 
I'm going to say. You might want to go and join uh, one of the Christian lodges of the universe. <laughs> you don't want to join this one. We're, we're mostly Muslims, guys. Come on, man. What's up? You're welcome to visit. You just can't join. Well, you can join if you understand. But if you don't understand, though, come on, man. And if they invite you to come visit you, and they're welcome to come visit me, or back to my regular self. Now I'm not the Muslim worshipful master. Regular worshipful master. Anyway, they can come visit me too. Okay, anyway, so that's the way that is. So I'm glad we got uh, Brother Farrakhan. That gives me a chance to uh, go visit, open up some new territories. <laughs> you get a chance to see the Grand Master of the Universe. Let's have some clarity. Let's have some coffee. Let me answer this real quick. He asked that question. Did you notice how many other black people was in that picture? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to verify something for you. Just a second. Have you noticed how many other people and black people were in that picture? What color got to do with it? You know, I'm just going to look No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get off that color party. Okay, brother, brother, Yancey. brother Yancey, go ahead. Brother Yancey, that's me, huh? That ain't Brother Yancey, I'm Brother Yancey. <laughs> I don't know if I got who that is. That, is he talking to Johans? Maybe that's what he's trying to say. Okay, that's enough of that. Let you answer talk, that's right. Hey, time out. Listen to him, let me talk. Huh? Yep. Hang up on him. Hang up on him. There you go. Shut him down. <laughs> Anyways. Enough of that. Enough of that. Look, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up the phone if you can't allow Brother Yancey to speak. Let's just let him speak. I'm okay. Just let him speak. Just let him speak.
so much trouble, trouble. Hey, watch out now. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Hey, I used to could do this. Okay, let's see. That's enough of that too. <laughs> hey, back in the day, back in Detroit, I forgot the name of that song. Uh, I Love the Way You Love. I was with a little group called the Royal Teens, and we won the amateur show prize at the Franklin Settlement. How about that, Carl? You probably remember that too. Carl Leak, that's my buddy out of Detroit. Was my, he really was my, my partner's little baby brother, but he done grew up too, not he? I didn't realize we were close to the same age. I guess I had some older buddies. Anyways, shout out to all of my Worshipful Sons of Light Grand Lodge folk. Shout out to all of the folks that are under the universe, all real Masons under the universe. You're real Masons. Squiggly. All right? And uh, that's it. See you tomorrow. I might even make another one right now, and then I'll play it tomorrow. <laughs> but you only get 30 minutes out of shot because I'm cool like that. See y'all later. Well, that's it. I only got a couple of minutes left. Gotta make up my 30 minutes. Boat. And remember, all of you that are under the universe, remember that masonry unites men of every country, sect, and opinion and conciliates true friendship among those who would have otherwise remained at a perpetual distance. And what, what are we taught? We're taught to respect the ties of blood and friendship, love our church and religion, support our lodge and chapter, assist the feeble, guide the blind, raise up the downtrodden, shelter the orphan, guard the altar, inculcate morality, promote learning, love man, fear God, employ his mercy, and hope for some kind of happiness. See you next time around, gentlemen and ladies. All right, y'all, we up out of here now. But when all God should be glad when we get back together, don't you? Heather, oh, what a time, what a time, what a time. We're going to sit down on the banks of the river. What a time, what a time, what a time. Woo! Well, and shout our troubles, oh, just throw them all over now. Oh, what a time, we'll have no more troubles. What a time, we're going to sit down. Did I give all my shouts? We're out of here, y'all. I done used up 30 minutes. Oh, what a time down in Texas. See you down there, Ray. And all you gentlemen of the General Grand Masonic Congress of Grandmasters. I know all of y'all. Oh, what a time. What a time. What a time. We're going to sit down on the banks of the river. What a time. What a time. What a time.